Hey, it's Cameron. Uh, I've had some people ask about the bug net we bought from RB Components. Um, thought we'd do a quick little tutorial on it. Uh, sorry for the shaky video. I don't have my gimbal today. Um, it was, uh, we got it from RB Components. They shipped it out really fast. Um, comes with some really good instructions. A lot of pictures. It's pretty easy to install. The instructions say it takes about uh, 20 to 30 minutes with and recommended with two people no tools needed just your hands uh, I was able to do this out actually out on the road on a, at a campsite by myself in about 15 to 20 minutes So it is really easy um, What happens is as you can see I've got it unzipped here, so it comes in kind of uh, two pieces the main the main part is the the center part with the the netting and the the mesh to keep the bugs out and then you have the side part here uh, this stuff tucks in under the under the rubber gasket, so you have this gasket that goes around the entire frame. Um, they tell you to start in the center, right in the center there, line it all up, kind of mostly center, and then you take this piece of material here and put it over the metal frame. So if we pull this out, you can see the metal frame right here. You take it, put it over the metal frame, just a little bit, about an inch, and then you push the gasket back on, so the gasket kind of pinches it over that white metal frame part. Um, again, make sure you have you've taken off this center part, so it's just just the frame, so you don't have a lot of weight pulling against you. You start at the top, and you kind of work across, and then you come back over to the other side. There are some little clips they have that you can jam up in there to kind of help hold the the top part, which is going to hold the most weight. Um, got some little clips you just put up in there, and it kind of locks onto the mesh. Uh, work your way down around the sides. It's pretty easy. Uh, I have a few places where you can see I've kind of come too much. It's not the end of the world. I don't really care um, if you go over. Uh, I wanted to make sure it was as tight as possible. It won't be like this perfect wall. Um, it will be some, will be a little bit of a uh, wave in it, which isn't a problem at all. Uh, when you're done, then you just go back to the zippers and put the, the zippers back on and seal it back up, and that's how it works. Um, pretty simple concept a uh, couple things we noticed at first we were kind of worried about uh, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom with ours I think I may have got too much material but uh, I doubt a mosquito would find its way down through there um, you don't have to open up those zippers to get in and out every time so you, you don't have to open this up it does have the center split here with the magnets so you just peel it apart go in and then let it go and they just seal right back up. It's really nice and it works almost every time. Just seals itself back up. Um, also, uh, you don't have to take it down, up and down every time. You don't have to pull it out of the gasket. You can kind of leave this frame. So you just open up the side zippers here, open them all the way up, and then you roll the net up and you've got some clips here. And so you can just keep the roll at the top and you can walk in and out, plenty of head clearance. Uh, that way you don't have to take the frame in and out. Um, I'm assuming at times when we don't even need it, we can just, what we'll do is just leave this in. It's not in the way at all. And we'll just unzip the main one, roll it up and throw it in the garage at home and not travel with it or throw it in the back of the van if we ever needed it. But you don't have to have it all up all the time in your way, even rolled up. So we've really liked it. We've only used it for uh, a few trips, but it's been really great so far. Um, like everything else RBC does, it's just really nice, high-quality stuff. I know a lot of people are going to comment that there's a lot of do-it-yourselves and it's a lot cheaper. We did look at a lot of what other do-it-yourself vanners are doing and found that we bought some off Amazon and uh, just a lot of cheap, cheap stuff. It wasn't perfectly fit to here, so I had a lot of um, bunching up. Uh, it didn't fit as good up in the gasket. It just, I just didn't like it. Uh, if it's working for you, great. This is what our decision was, and um, it's been worth the money so far. Uh, good, high-quality products. The 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 uh, magnet system here works great for getting in and out. Um, and like I said, just everything they do is really high quality, and uh, we know we're going to be able to use this for years to come. Uh, that's our uh, that's a review of the bug net. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment. We'll try to get back to you. So, thanks, everyone.